Dear Amy, I know mom and dad wouldn't like you to know what I'm about to tell you, but you're my sister and we've always had a close relationship, so screw them. By now, I'm sure you're hearing all sorts of stories about girl punkers, wild sex, weekend binges, and run-ins with the law. Yeah, what the hell? It's all true. And it started the night Rudy, Carl, Sean, and I drove to Akron. Sean was, well, being Sean. Good fight. You know, whenever you and Marsha fight, you always want to get out of town. You're nuts. I'm nuts? You're the one wanting to go to Akron? All they do in Akron is make tires. There's a place that I heard of called the Wild West Club. It's currently very happening. Hey, I heard of the place. The girls that hang out there are really hot. Yeah, how would you know that? I heard one of their ads. Hey, you guys want to try something different? Get a load of them. Holy mackerel. Roll down your window. I want to yell something out. Hey, nice hair. Freak. Freak, so you take it out of Dellsville, Joe. Why am I doing this? Because you don't want to be just a talker. What do you mean? I want to do something new and exciting. You know, that's all I hear from you lately. Well, here it is. And these girls are the first really exciting thing we've come across in months. You don't think your babes like that just happen to be there, do you? I think God is finally answering your prayers. In hindsight, he was right. But how was I to know that? Sean hadn't said anything intelligent in years. Hey, follow them. There might be more where they're going. Let the parking spot quick. I think we've hit the jackpot tonight, boys. I wouldn't touch anything. on the highway. Looks like she wants you, Rudy. God only knows why. I wouldn't know what to say to her. I don't know what to say to anybody. Girls are girls. It's not what you say to them, it's how you say it. You know, you gotta be cool, in control. Attitude, that's what'll get you into their pants. If they wear it. Attitude, right. Go for it, dude. I love it when we act like adults. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. Put it there, baby. How am I doing? Great. You a co pilot? Yeah, sure, why not? Give him a thrill. Hey, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go check out the band. Yeah, 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 check out the band. Hey, look, forget about Marcia. Find yourself a real woman. Hey, but, uh, Joey, remember, these girls don't like wimps. Thank you. I don't think they heard you in the bathroom. <laughs>
Hi there. Uh, what's your sign? Do not disturb. I'd love a beer. Excuse me? Buy me a drink? Oh, yeah, sure. Two beers? Quick. These girls love a guy in control. I'm telling you. I'm talking to one now. I'm telling you, she is wild. Wild. Yeah, but I'm hanging, Joey. You know, real low to catch my drift. I don't know. There's something wrong with these girls. Huh? I'm having a good time. I didn't say I wasn't having a good time. Hey, babe. About the next slam dance. Here we go. Thanks. Huh? What's yours? Thunder. Thunder, that's a weird name. Not for a drummer. Or a racehorse. So where are the rest of your buddies? You guys travel in packs, don't you? Oh, well, they're out there trying to pick up a, a fashion tip. Oh, I'm trying to get a taste of the other side of the tracks before you go back to Shaker Heights, huh? How'd you know I was from there? Lucky guess. <laughs> hey, um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you always go around dressed like that? Most of the time, sometimes I get really wild. Really? Huh. Well, don't you care what people think? Do I look like the kind of person that cares what people think? No, I guess not. Uh, I mean... That's all right. So, uh, where'd you learn to play? I taught myself. I took a couple of lessons from some guys, but mostly I taught myself. Really? Look, I just knew that there was more for me out there than going to school, getting married, and having kids. That sort of life is kind of livable. Well, livable isn't the way I want to spend the rest of my life. I need every day to feel like it's my last. You know, like full speed ahead and look out below. I, I admired her free spirit. The only way no, it was more than that. I felt the same way, only I couldn't act on it. I mean, so what if I was different? You know? Yeah. Thanks for the beer. Oh, uh, where are you going? I'm not sure. New York, maybe LA. What are you gonna do there? Play drums and write songs and make a whole mess of money. She can't do that here. And how about you? Haven't you ever thought of doing something really different? Coming here was. This is nothing. You ought to come with me. Put a little excitement in your life. And she asked me to go with her. Could you see that? You? No. <laughs> no way. I'm gonna shut up, Rudy. Anyway, she was really interesting to talk to. Joey, girls aren't for talking, especially ones named Thunder. I mean, you've got us to talk to. Okay, so you got me to talk to. What are you guys doing in this neck of the woods? Hey, hey, hey Ted. What's happening? So, uh, you want a steak out here or what? Hey, where's your old man? Staking out the girls, John? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am here on official business. Now, what are you guys doing here? Why, oh, the usual. Checking out chicks, trying to get in the back seat of Joey's car. Yeah, well, from the looks of things, it's going kind of slow. Otherwise, why would you be hanging out in the John? Unless you're doing drugs like everyone else. Now, we wouldn't want Mom and Dad to suspect something like that, would we? So, uh, before anything goes down, why don't you guys take some advice and get your butts back to Shaker Heights? Now. him a lesson. If I don't, the next joker who thinks he can get away with it will. And where will that leave this firm? Up Shit Creek, where it belongs. 
the hell is that? Who said that? Someone's on the intercom. What the hell? I thought this was a private conversation. Somebody turn that thing. Just have a seat. Stan Richard will be right with you. Oh, Mr. Shank, hi. I'm just waiting to go to lunch with my dad. Is there anything wrong, Mr. Shank? No, Joy. Why do you ask? You don't smoke. I just started. I guess your uh, father found out that I Xeroxed some testimony in the Foreman case and sold it to the defense for a couple of thousand dollars. <laughs> You're kidding. How could you do that? Oh, come on, Joey. It happens all the time. But I know what you're really saying. How could someone like me do it? Stanley Shank, a gutless wonder. <laughs> well, yeah. You may not believe this, but it isn't easy living on what I earn here. And I'll tell you something else. I turned 50 last month, and I looked at myself, and I saw a man who had never taken any chances in his life. And I thought, why not? I'm as good as any of the guys that get away with it. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong about that. But the point is, I had to see if once in my life I had the guts to do something dangerous. But you're one of the most trusted men here, Mr. Shank. A violation of that trust puts the entire firm in jeopardy. Oh, Jesus, you sound like your old man. I would have made a full confession if he had asked me politely. Over lunch, maybe. He didn't have to send those two thugs down to drag me out of the coffee shop just now. They hurt you? <laughs> Not as much as these cigarettes are. I'm sorry. Your dad is a man with a lot of power, Joey. And he doesn't mind using it. You're running this firm, you'll be different. I'll wait outside. Yes. Take care of yourself, Joey. Yeah, you too, Mr. Shank. Thanks. Brenda, hold my calls. Brenda. Yes, he's the best this country has to offer as a future leader of America. Responsible, intelligent, trustworthy, studious. All these do not do justice in describing Joey Curtis. Yes, when I look at Richard and Carol's eldest, well, I know the future of our country is in good hands. So may I introduce you to this month's winner of Rotary's Future Leader of America Award, Joey Curtis. George, those were very nice things you said about Joey. <laughs> well, we're real proud of him. What school did you say he's going to in the fall? Yale. And after the bars, he'll have a job at the old man's firm. I remember when my Mike told me he was going to be a cop, too. Got me right here. Well, Joey, Sean, and Mike are always good kids. Not like uh, Charlie Hansen's boy. I hear he's back in jail. Something about being at a <laughs> punk club in Akron when a riot broke out. Well, my Mike was part of that bust. Oh, yeah? Hey, yeah, he told me all about it. A bunch of drunken disorderlies. A dozen kids busted for smoking pot in the jar. You know the usual stuff you get with punks? Real nut bars. Christ. I thought that punk stuff ended years ago. What makes it interesting, though, is who Mike said he saw there. Hey! Jesus. I'm sorry. Sorry. Fred Rogan's boy, Bob, or Spike, as he likes to be called now? Well, I'm not surprised. The Rogans are Kiwanians. Still, it doesn't compare to the Kit Kat bust of 68. Excuse me? Excuse me. <laughs> hey, did I ever tell you guys about that bust? Several times, Dad. Uh, Joey. Did you 
get any more room deodorizer? Yes. You know, your room smells like burning pine trees. Well, if you don't like it, Bunny, don't go near it. Dad? Joey, your sister doesn't like to be called Bunny anymore. Bunny's a wonderful nickname. My daddy used to call me that. I know. Cut it out. Is something bothering you, son? I, I wish you'd tell us what it is. Apparel. Don't baby the boy. If it's all right with you guys, I, I'm going to do something different this summer other than work at the firm. We'll talk about this later. You got a graduation card from Uncle Phil in Los Angeles. Did it have any money in it? I wouldn't know. He said he wasn't coming to Joey's party. Well, that's okay. I don't want one anyway. Joey? We had one when you graduated from high school and now college, and we'll have one when you finish with law school. Same goes for you, Amy. It's a family tradition. I think that's lovely. You would. You know, I didn't tell you this at dinner, but you look great. I have never seen you look better than you. Sit been down, son. I always thought we were the kind of family who could talk out our problems amongst ourselves. We are. Well, apparently you have a problem about working at the firm this summer. And instead of coming to me, you talk to someone obviously outside the family who told you that slopping hamburgers or whatever it is you want to do was more important. It's not that, Dad. Well, then tell me. What is it? Well, I'm curious. It's not that important. Look, son, you're an adult. I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do. I just want you to remember that I'm building the firm so one day you will take over. Now, nothing is more important to me. Yes, sir. So you'll go to work Monday as planned. See, we can talk these things out. and going along for the ride. I know you want to go along for the ride with me to go and see Dead Mott, don't you? Well, all right. You got somebody special you're thinking of right now? Well, come on, give me a call. Be caller 86 at 578-0101. That's 578-0101. I got a pair of tickets just for you. Now, pick up your telephone. Come on, I'm talking to you, baby. Come on, call me at WMMS. I'm going to send you and someone you love to see Dead Mott. Compliments of the buzzer. More, more, sitting around Joey? Honey, are you all right? Yeah, Mom, why do you ask? Well, you seem to have gotten yourself into this habit of locking yourself in your room every night. You're going to miss Johnny Carson again. Well, I'm working on my thesis. I, I thought you graduated last week. Yeah, can you beat that? Yeah, hi, it's Thunder there. Dad? No, she's not here. Who's this? Oh, well, this is Joey Kurt. Joey Kurt, I'm a friend of hers. I was wondering if I could speak with her. Diane went to Los Angeles a couple of days ago. She did? You're not one of her boyfriends, are you? Oh, no, we just talked. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you. Look, if you're going to talk to her, would you tell her I love her? I want her to know. Hello, are you there? 
Well, you ought to come with me. I want the excitement in your life. Did this just turn into a crank call? Uh huh. No, no. I I'll tell her. Um, thank you very much. Bye. Yeah. Why don't you make us some breakfast and wake me when it's ready? Okay, babe. night, huh? The night was great. But it's the morning that's rough. What are you doing here today? It's your day off. I told Tyler I was working. I had to make up something. He caught me creeping into bed an hour ago. Uh, I don't think I have to hear the rest of the story, do I? Uh, I could use you today anyway, so uh, just sit there a sec and uh, I'll be right with you. Okay? Okay? Terrific. <laughs> That's pretty good, dude. That's pretty Thank good. Thank you. It's okay. How you doing, sweetheart? You looking for something, or you just come down to listen to some ass-kicking riffs? Oh, no, I'm here to audition. I want to join a band. <laughs> That's cute, sweetheart. Look, we're sort of looking for a guy, drummer. This is a guy's yeah. band. But uh, why don't you go sit over there and be real quiet, and maybe later we'll party down. showed up. Speedy pool service might took us. Never mind, Emma. Come on. Come on in. Come on, come on. You know what we've been put up with since the storm? We've had your branches, we've had your leaves, we even had dead mice. Now we got this green scum that's taken over the entire deep end. It's the pool man, finally. Oh my god! You don't know your own nephew, Joey! <laughs> Joey? <laughs> of course I do. I was just joking. Nice to see you. How are you, Joey? Oh, this is such a surprise. Why didn't you let us know you were coming? I know how much you guys like surprises. Um, well, actually, I hate surprises. Me too. <laughs> uh, I wanted to thank you guys for this graduation card. Oh. Phone call would have been nice. Yeah, phone call. I appreciated it. And I wanted to thank you guys in person. Um, your folks know you're here, don't they? 
Uh, you know them, they know everything. <laughs> uh, I suppose they do. Well, this is a pleasant surprise, <laughs> isn't it, Phil? Yeah, boy. Do you have a place to stay? I was hoping if I could stay with you guys. That'll be wonderful. <laughs> Won't it, Phil? Yeah, sure. Just doesn't seem right. My brother is not gonna let his kid come halfway across the country without calling me first. You two haven't talked in years. Why would he call you about this? That would be considerate. Maybe it's a test. A test? Uh-huh. Sure. If we don't go along with this little surprise and make him feel welcome, Richard could stop sending the money. Then what are we gonna live on? Besides, Joey is next in line to take over the firm. We should be nice to him. And it's just for a little while. And he's a good kid. And I'll be back by midnight.
Um. Can we get any fucking privacy around here? Oh, hey. You value what's left of your lives. Don't go in there. Okay. something like that. But then I thought, well, why not? I mean, why should I care what my father will think? What she said to me made a lot of sense. I don't know, LA is such a big place. Maybe I'm on a wild goose chase. Rambling. It's not like I do this sort of thing all the time. I've got a girlfriend. We're very close. I just want to find Thunder and spend a couple of days with her. I don't know, maybe I'm going nuts. Well, I'll tell you what. I gotta hang around here to get paid, but afterwards I'm going to this after hours place called The Zero. A bunch of musicians sang out there. Maybe we could find her there. You would do that for me? Well, I'm going anyway. We got free beer there. <laughs> and I could really use a good drummer. She any good? She's good. I mean, as a drummer. Oh no, we just talked. My name's Linda. Joey. I'm gonna get so fucked up tonight that whatever my man member they can erase. Oh, uh. It's okay, it's with me. Hey, guys. months and they recorded and you didn't say shit about that hey bernie's band's good you guys need a lot of work what we really need is a new drummer janie quit tonight actually she quit but i fired her that's what i mean you guys can't be ready to record when you're going through drummers like that you know oh yeah No, I'm not. Ho! 
whores. They're all whores. Evil little decadent little monsters. Ain't nothing I like better. Find me a piece of loose ass. Shaking that booty. I'll lower my bitch. Uh, have you seen Linda? Oh, hi, baby. How you doing? Um, well, I thought she was somebody else. <laughs> Excuse me, darling. <laughs> have you seen Thumper yet? Thunder. No, I haven't. God, you know, I thought my best friend was a sleeve balls. I like this every night. Yeah. Isn't it great? Wait. So good to see you. So, did you get a band yet? Nah, all the bands around here are fucked up. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Let's go get a drink. I'll go get it. Thanks. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> um, that's a friend of mine I want you to meet. <laughs> Sleep next to me. God knows what's crawling around down there. Was it one? 
together. <laughs> Monday. What happened to Sunday? No, don't answer that. I'm having too good of a time to care. You're not used to all this partying, are you? How could you tell? Because you're green and you're throwing up in my car. That's not mine. Do you like it out here? Yeah, it's all right. When I'm on my own and I'm doing what I want to do. Now I'm in a band. I've got to get to work and write some new songs, though. It's hard to write? I don't write when I'm not inspired, but then enough shit happens to me and boing, I'm thinking faster than I can write. I like you. Um, do you think that maybe one night before I go home, you'd like to go out? Sure, why not? You're a good kisser. I am? When did that happen? You don't remember? No. <laughs> the last 48 hours are a complete blur to me. Oh, sorry. It's all right. We'll take it from the break. So, uh, are you and Joey going out? Not really. We want details. He's not really my type. Besides, if nothing's heaven by now, it's not going to. Sorry. Hello. Right. But he's cute. Ah! Sorry! The trying to try, but it don't do no good. Trying to try, but it don't do no good. Things around here will never be the same. All right, never forget the joke. Sorry. Sorry, I... I really think we're gonna have to do that one more time. Then you come out here and do it. It sounded a bit flat. I'll flatten you! So how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Wow, I can't wait to read Those things are pretty hard to read, aren't they? What's this 50% here? I guess it's the publishing, but it's usually not that much. God, I didn't say that. These bastards. Here we go. And remember, this is just a rough mix. Jesus, am I glad you're here. Sure. No problem. Thank you. They moved into town not too long ago. Blasting rock and roll on the radio. How could they be just the boys next door? Little did I know what they had in store. Guess they were cut and the car wouldn't run. Never went to work, all they lived for was fun. House is a wreck, yard was a mess. Blown out of fit, but they couldn't care less. I just can't keep up.
He said you knew. No, 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 he's fine. Carol, you can tell me. Was this a test? To see if we... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Does he what? No, he doesn't lock himself in his room after dinner. He's never here. I don't know. You want me to check? Hold on. It's just up there. I should think they'd be happy to know you all right. Yeah, sure, at first. Then anger sets in, and before you know it, my dad's sending a search party after me. And believe me, that would not be a pretty sight. Well, I'm glad you're staying. I'm not staying, exactly. I I'm just not ready to go back. And do we have to talk about this right now? I'm nervous. No, you should be our manager. Then it wouldn't be like you were still running away. I can't be your manager. And I'm not running away. I never said I was running away. Did I say that? When are you going to stop saying I can't? Can'ts for old people. I can't believe we're having this conversation. <laughs> oh my God, we're here. Hey, cool. Let's go back another time. We'll be quiet. Shut up. I'm the one who's going to wind up being screwed. Richard wants me to send a little freeloader home. If I don't do it, he'll be pissed off. And I'll probably have to work for a living. You've got to tell him to go. Oh, right. Sure. And Joey's pissed off because he wants to stay. Either way, I get up the wazoo. Why don't you tell Joey that you're a spineless doormat and you're afraid to face his father's wrath? understand. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Okay. You guys wait here. I don't... Where's Thunder? She was just here a second ago. Okay. Just, just wait here, okay? Okay? Shh. Don't try to stop me. I'm just getting my things and then I'm leaving. Oh, shit. How did you get in here? This door was open. No, I did. You just take these things, go outside, and don't make a sound. And honestly, did you hear that? It's probably Joey. It's not even midnight. He's never home this early. No, I can't. He hated killing the, the embarrassment, the humidity. Well, don't look at me. I'm not going out there. Then call the police. Can we take these? I don't believe you. Are you fine? Let's, let's just get out of here, okay? Did you get yourself? Sorry. Oh, shit, cops. What do we do? Wait, we're not doing anything wrong. We've got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone heard us and called the police. Maybe they won't notice us. Let's just go. Okay, stay down, stay down. I'm Joey. I hate pressure. Me too. Get in. I can't drive. I'm too nervous. You drive, Chris. I can't drive an automatic. Listen, I have an idea. Let's just duck down and wait till they pass, okay? Come on, let's go. They're still far away. He's the best this country has to offer as a future leader of America. When I look at Richard and Carol's eldest, I know the future of our country is in good hands. I know. Nice. Sick. Still coming. I don't know my way around here. Where, where the hell is the expressway? They call the freeways at. I don't care what they're called. I just want to know where they are. We should circle around like a dragnet moving. You guys are no help. This is a one way. Those are dirty anyways. We lost them.
Curtis. No, salesman. Detective Watson. No, Richard Curtis sent me. Nice lawn. You owe the man $5,000. Will you stop saying that? Honey? I don't owe him anything. What? Would you please turn that down just a little? No one will be able to hear it. Please. Why did you do it, Billy? I'm getting a little headache from it. drank. Those sessions with Dr. Kemble have really helped. I'm down to three times a week now. I saw the bill. But it's money well spent. Excuse me, Mr. Curtis, but there's a collect call from a detective Watson in Los Angeles. I've got it. I have it. Hello? Yes, this is Carol Curtis. Have you found my boy? Is he all right? Have you talked to him? What is he doing? Why? Why did he do this to me? Oh my God, he's not dead, is he? Yes, operator. We'll accept the charges. Give him a good shuffle. Okay. Come on, let's talk. Sincerely miss the guy. I want to know what he's up to. His parents hired a private detective who called from Los Angeles. He thinks that Joey's hanging out with a bunch of punk rockers. That doesn't sound like him. He hates punk. We all do. Jesus. You know, I can't believe he did this. So, uh, how long has he been gone now? Almost two months. Two months? And you haven't been seeing anybody else? Of course not. You know, I don't want to sound cruel or anything, Marcia, but uh, if you were my girlfriend, I would never do anything like this to you. I mean, here you are, this beautiful woman with an incredible aura of untapped sexuality. I mean, loyalty is great and all, but uh, geez, the lack of sex must be driving you nuts. Nothing had come about with Thunder, and that was okay. Instead, I ended up living with her and Chris in a place we like to call the Hell Hole. The only problem with this arrangement was ignoring Chris's subtle advances. It was a good time to write home. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to write. Please, don't worry about me. I'm sharing a very nice... cozy place in Hollywood with two girls who are in a... Two girls... Right. Feel lucky, punk? As I said, Chris was subtle. I just can't find anything. How about something a little patriotic? I don't think so. I like it. Can I help you? Yeah, maybe you can. Bert, Bert, guess what? We're finally gonna play Max's. The guy who books it saw us last week, and he still wants us to play. Max's, that's the big time. Yeah, Tyler's playing and we're gonna open You gotta play. come, Bert. I wouldn't miss it for the world. My name's Watson. I'm looking for this guy. Maybe you girls could help me. We don't get weirdos like that coming in here. Do we, Bert? Uh, no, no, no. I wish we would. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Thanks anyway. I know you won't change your mind.
And I know you won't change your mind I know. We're gonna open for you. Where? At Max's. Mercy came by work today and told me. Don't you think you should have asked me before you said yes? Look, Ty, I don't have time to deal with your shit tonight, okay? I've got a rehearsal. Hey, fuck your rehearsal. The promoter saw us play and thought we'd make a compatible bill together. All the fucking bullshit I have to go through and now this. I'm happy for you. Why can't you be happy for me? Because this is supposed to be my evening. I gotta go. You know, everyone's gonna think the only reason you got this gig is because you're my girlfriend. Oh, yeah? Well, you're just jealous. Fuck you! That wasn't meant for you. Fuck! So how's it going with Chris? <laughs> I have no idea what that's all about. She's the jealous type. I heard she almost killed a guy once. I've heard. Hmm. That dick will never recognize you now. Hey, you sure? I'm positive. I gotta see. Wait, wait, I'm not finished. Ha <laughs> ha! You really made it look like a mohawk. as I thought it would. All in the world leads me astray Trying to try and... Headlining dates and three auditorium gigs we learned from Major Apple. When do we leave? That's two weeks now. Not soon enough. Want a beer? Uh, no, no, I'll get myself a real drink. I'll be right. Dance to die!
How should I know? You're the fucking drummer. Central African countries. That's We've been gone for a pretty long time. Um, Michael wants you guys on now. When I'm ready. You said now, or you don't go on. Okay, I'm ready. Come in if you want to. Oh, thanks. I'm just <laughs> looking for this guy. Um, well, you're more than welcome to, you know, go take a look around if you want. Nah. <clears throat> thanks anyway. Yeah, all right. No
said you're an asshole. <laughs> They'll never play in here again. You're mistaking us for someone who gives a shit. Hey guys, move over. Joey's been hurt. Come lay down. Oh my God, what happened? Michael tried cheating us out of our guarantee. Did he? No, I haven't. Are you all right? No. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how something so gross can make you feel so much better. Dresser, there's a camera. Would you get it and take my picture? This is one night I want to remember. Come to think of it, since I've been here, there hasn't been a night that hasn't been. Person in there. She looks 
pretty healthy to me. Yeah, well, you know, looks can be misleading. You know, I'm not feeling so good tonight myself. Why don't we make another? What do you mean she looked pretty healthy? I love threesomes. Is anyone else in here? How do you mean anyone? Uh, did you see Thunder? Oh, yeah, I'm... I told her to leave. I love it when you're up. Oh. 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 Do you want to talk? It just happened. Like you and me. Almost it. I wanted to talk to you after you and I, you know, but, but I didn't know how you felt. I didn't know how I felt. I mean, right now, I feel like a real sleazeball. I mean, not that you and I, you know, or, or, or that Carla and I, I mean, not that we did, because we didn't. I mean, not technically. I don't know what else to say to you. Would you please say something? <laughs> closet, on all fours, you name it. Then I hugged this girl who definitely didn't want to be hugged by any man. I punched this... I thought I... I thought I experienced everything in the past couple of weeks, but this night tops it all. I must have aged 10 years. Are there any gray hairs yet? No. Oh, my God, my hair. I want to go on the home. Road with us. Come on the road with us. I'm serious. Yeah, right. That's exactly what I should do. What are you, nuts? Don't answer. No, really, this guy Frank wants to put us on the road with Tyler's band. It'll be rad. Yeah, well, I've had enough rad. It's time to go home. Stop this living on the ledge. Edge. Come on, Joey. You're just as much a part of the band as anyone. I am? Ask anyone. Well, don't ask Chris. No, part of me just cries out for stability again. You remember stability. I've heard of it. I just have to stop pretending to be something I'm not. You've got to do what you've got to do. But you don't have to give up that easy. Well, we'll be in Cleveland in two weeks. I don't want to go. I mean, I have to go, but uh, maybe I should just put myself out of this agony. Just don't land on Marsky's car. I love it up here. Me too. Hey guys, I'm playing with Ty. Okay, let's Come go, in. let's go, let's go! Yay. We're late! Come on, let's go around the field. Ciao.
So many things flying around in my head when I saw that sign. I felt like I was putting a part of my life behind me now. I wanted to say something to the girls because I knew this was the last time I'd see them. If I looked at them, I knew I'd start to cry. We'd become close friends, but I knew I couldn't let that stop me from doing what I felt was best for me. Besides, I felt something else that day. That it was good to be home. Did you just see that? <laughs> When I first got back home from being on my own, my mom thought I turned into a punk rock junkie, prostitute, hoodlum, loony patient. I think that's how she put it. You guys didn't worry too much. No, I found a terrific novelist. I have to give you his number. Where's Amy? Amy is spending the night at Eileen studying for her finals. Amy went to summer school. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, so, tell me, what did I do to deserve this? Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you feel guilty for what you did. There's plenty of time for that later. Oh, your father is in his study. He will be so happy to see you. You know, I used to wear this wig, and I think it's still up in the attic. And I was thinking that Thanks, if you... Mom. 
How did it go? Well, I told him that I wanted to work at the firm until school starts. Well, I know that made him happy. I couldn't tell. Mom, I'm sorry that I put you guys through this. I didn't think it would... You know, I remember this one time at the zoo. You must have been, oh, six, seven. And your father and I bought you this ice cream cone. And a little while later, we were in front of the bear cage. And suddenly, we realized that you'd run away. <laughs> must have taken us an hour to find you. And do you know where you were? Mm -hmm. In front of the ice cream stand, eating a different flavor. <laughs> and, and sharing it with this cute little girl. Angry. <laughs> I, I guess, I've always been like that. I mean, running here, there, never satisfied with anything. Used to be so cute. Yeah, man, rip it, Joe. <laughs> not to me. I know mom's been seeing this shrink. She must be <laughs> telling him stuff. But nobody wants me to know. You know what? I'll tell you about it one day. We better. So, I saw Marsha last night and I think maybe we're gonna get back together. Ow! Sorry. I haven't heard her name in a while. No blood? <laughs> How is she? She's still in love. With who? Okay, you're done. Not bad. <laughs> What's this for? I missed you. I'm glad you're back. Take your pick. Me too. There's also been complaints about late research. Now, I'm telling you people, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Your silence. This will be an addition to your present caseload. Harry, work with Harry Sandman on the Ridgewood Herald Freedom of the Press appeal. Scott and Bill will work with Bob Johnson on the Newman divorce proceedings. Martha, being our resident female, will help Jerry Hodell on DMV sexual harassment pretrial. Lance, you'll work closely with Glenn Armstrong on the Elmer Lucas preliminary. Now, the state's going for the death penalty, so it's going to be tough. Joey will take Mr. Salzman's nuisance statement. That's it. Gee, Joey, I wish I had that one. We all were looking forward to it. Think you can handle it, Joey? 
You like my suit? It's very nice. You don't think it's too loud for the courtroom? You look great in it. I think I'll get a gray one just in case. Perry Mason always looked good in gray. But of course, that's when I still had a black and white TV. Mr. Saltzman, please, I have to ask you these questions. I should know them by heart by now. Yeah. OK. What is the exact nature of the nuisance? And the garbage men. They come too early, and they make a lot of noise, and they wake me up. I lose a half hour sleep every Tuesday morning. I figured it out. I lose two hours sleep every month. Mr. Saltzman, how much are you paying this firm as a retainer to handle this case? The usual, I suppose, uh, $50,000. Can I ask you a question? What is it, young man? Sir, I was going through your file, and I saw that the last case that you brought to us was against a bum for vagrancy. Now, you tried suing him for $200,000. <laughs> I'd like to be straight with you, sir. You, you never win any of these cases. You know, nuisance cases are the hardest things to win, and they just end up being a waste of our time and your money. And there's so many other things that you could be doing with that money. What is this? You talk like a Democrat. I don't want to talk to you. Go. Go get someone else. What the hell's the matter with you? What did I do that was so wrong? That man brings in nearly $200,000 a year in retainers alone, and you upset him very much. There are better things he could be doing with his money. If he wanted to sue a snail for blocking traffic, I would let him. Because if we didn't, somebody else would. For Christ's sake, the old fart enjoys going to court. It makes him feel important. Now, that's a good enough reason for me. That means it's a good enough reason for you. Look, son. You stand to do very well if you can just manage to keep yourself in line. Not only financially, but uh, you'll have my respect again. It's the last time we have this conversation. I'm sorry, Dad. Mr. Shank? Shelby. Hi. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Right. Gee, I didn't know there was anyone still here. Well, you know. I haven't seen you around all summer. Yeah, well, I was in Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, yeah? I hear everyone's loony out there. Well, not once you get to know him. I bet you're surprised to see me still working for your old man. Uh, yeah, actually, I am. Um. What are you doing? Oh, this is, is just temporary. I tried to uh, hook up with another firm, but uh, nobody bid. It was like I was blackballed or something. <laughs> and I couldn't afford to go into uh, practice for myself, so I came back to your dad. He said if I managed to stay in line doing this crap, I could probably have my position back. It's a little humiliating sometimes, but overall, it's a bearable situation. Yeah, but bearable isn't the way that you should go through the rest of your life. Well, sometimes you don't have any choice. Guess I'll be seeing you around here. Take care. You stay here, but keep quiet. Remember what she said, if we get caught, we're going to get uh, court plastered. Your Excellency, I'm worried. I can't sleep. What? You're worried? You can't sleep? It's a Just think. Plan. Okay, I'll be right over. Once we're married, we'll have fun like this all the time. Come in. Oh, there you are. 
Here's the combination. Your Excellency, what in the world's the matter with you? Rush. How about my glass of water? I give up. How about your glass of water? Pilot just said we're going to be landing in L.A. in a half an hour. I know I'm giving up a lot by doing this, including Dad's respect, but it's worth it. Even though I have no idea if managing an all-girl band is really what I want to do. But I've got to at least give it a try. So, Amy, if you're ever going to follow your heart's desires, you better think twice, because you could end up having the time of your life. Love, Joey. On the outside. 